My first trip to New York City was back in 2016. Like many tourists, I went to the world's famous Katz's Deli and had their amazing pastrami sandwich. It was not only the best pastrami I've ever had, it was one of the best things I've ever ate, period. But now that I live in New York, I have the chance to try the deli's competitors and find out what is truly the city's best pastrami. I've got a very exciting lunch planned for today. I'm going to Pastrami Queen. Many claim it has one of the best pastrami sandwiches in all of New York. So a little history about the establishment. It started in 1956 in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, then jumped around to Queens. Now it's on the Upper East Side. And in the meantime, it had a sex change because it was initially known as Pastrami King. Now it's Pastrami Queen. Even the late, great Anthony Bourdain claimed that the restaurant's pastrami sandwich is among the very best, and he stated it's a quintessential New York meal. Okay, I got my pastrami in Central Park now. So it comes with a good number of pickles, looks like some mustard, um, some other sauce, not sure what that one is. And this is the pastrami sandwich. Oh wow, look at that, that looks beautiful. Not as big as cats, but uh, yeah, still looks wonderful. That is a thing of beauty. Just look at that juicy pastrami, stacked high, two simple slices of rye, just wonderful. It's just meat and bread, but it's a thing of beauty. It's a culinary symbol of New York akin to the Empire State Building and the city's skyline. I wouldn't object to having a photo of this sandwich, framing it, and then hanging it in my home. All right, first bite, so excited. That initial bite took me back to the moment I had my first pastrami sandwich at Katz and learned what great pastrami tasted like. But at the same time, it was different and new. That was perfect. Subtle qualities such as the bread, amount of meat, and texture helped this sandwich stand out on its own. But the same emotion of pure bliss I had at Katz was just as strong here. So, so good. This is one of the best sandwiches I had all year. All right, so one of the accompaniments is the uh, yellow grain mustard, really good, traditional. The other is the uh, either Russian dressing or Thousand Island. So the sauce, the mustard, comes on the side, but it really doesn't need it. The meat is just so perfect. So I put some mustard on there, you know, just for tradition. Yeah, it goes well with mustard too. But like I said, the meat's so good, it doesn't really need anything added to it. See, look how fatty and beautiful that meat is. It's so juicy, just so perfect. It's what pastrami dreams are made of. Mmm. I love this sandwich. So the bread of the sandwich, really nothing special, just your basic uh, basic rye bread. I mean, it's really just a vessel to hold the meat together. So this sandwich uh, costs 20 bucks, but with tax, it's about, you know, 22. Worth every single penny. Second half of the sandwich, I'm so happy. Mmm, so, so good. Like, desperately, digging around for crumbs left over because the meat was just that good. Each morsel was like a little bit of heaven. So maybe you've guessed, but I really enjoyed the sandwich. It was just amazing. It was perfect. I mean, it was the best sandwich I've had all year. Definitely some of the best pastrami I've ever had. Is it as good as cats? That is so hard to say. I think I'd have to have them side by side to really, to really able to come up with an opinion. But um, oh, you gotta try it. It was so good. Worth easily the $20 and more. So pastrami queen, thumbs up on the pastrami, amazing. Mm -hmm.